Как будто не было Бугакова до Влатова и Солженицына Они все мыслят теперь одинаково Сегодня чувства и сожжены с лица Быкова, Дали, Миронова Аксенова Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel Where I provide my views On talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing talented artists and bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now I'm still ill, I just got a blocked up nose and I'm doing my best uh, not to sneeze uh, and, you know, get my tissue out and blow a horrible snug right into it. <laughs> we are going over to Ukraine and we're going to see Positive. And this one particular track is called Don't Take It Personally. Uh, when I, uh, the reason why I'm reacting to this because, I'm uh, sorry, Nothing Personal is called. The reason why I'm reacting to this because the title, Nothing Personal. And, and it's positive. I'm thinking, where are you coming with this, bro? What are you coming with? Now, as you know, um, Positive and um, Dorothea, the, you know, they had this amazing um, connection and vibe. I'm sure that Dorothea is still signed to Positive Record Label. Um, I remember when the early time, times of me reacting to Positive, it was like, wow, he's got a lot of um, sexuality and nakedness in his videos and all that stuff. And I've been told that, you know, that, that, that's, how, that's how he is. That's how he rolls. Okay, okay, fine. But now then I saw something that was more him personally. And I had some more information about him as well. Thank you very much for you guys for, uh, for sending me so much information about Positive as well. Um, his background, where he's from and so forth. Um, but this one is like, you, because of what's happening right about now, why would he say nothing personal? How is it nothing personal? Then I thought, okay, please, 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 YouTube, let me have some good subtitles. And as you know, if it doesn't say English subtitles on there and you have to go into auto-generated, then you know that the actual word for word is not going to be 100%. And that's the reason why I have not put the subtitles on. And I am just going to wait for you amazing guys to um, translate for me. Or you not even translate, just pop us them in the words and I translate it myself. And then I'll put it onto, um, in, in the description page, as you know that I do. Um, what does it say about positive in here? Well, to be fair, I don't know. So I'm going to do this positive. Uh, okay. Is it this one? This one was three days ago. I'm not too sure if it's this one. I think it is this one. Anyway, apologies for going on for blabbering on so much, but it has got some things in here. Uh, I'm just hoping that this is the latest one that I am reacting to. So, in the description page, it says, There's no peace. The Russians have brought destructions and plane to my land. They are fanning the flames of the world war. Therefore, there will be no long. There will no longer be Russian names on streets in Ukraine cities and village. There will be no novels, poems, and songs. Together with thousands of our children, mothers, fathers, they were burned in flames by Russian bombs and rockets. So, and I thought about this long and hard. That when it comes, and I said it, and I, and I asked that question. That when it comes to rebuilding Ukraine. Would it be acceptable for the rest of the world to help Ukraine in building their city? Or is it a case of the proud Ukrainians, um, you know, give them donation and they'll build their own city? But I think this is a mark of togetherness, unity. And what would be better than having, you know, the world rebuild Ukraine? And have some kind of monumentum there. Um, so I'm, I'm not, I know the young Ukrainians will never forget because it's happening in the front of their doorstep. But this is a this is a historic event, and I don't want it to die down the way how I feel that it is died down in the news of today. It was very very hype on the you know around the, uh, February, March, and April. But now we're in August. 
incidentally, it's my birthday today. Um, it's, I feel it's kind of dwindled and we need to keep up this, uh, this burning desire for it to end, this burning desire for it to be finished, this burning desire to, for everybody to rebuild and help and claim their lives back, more importantly. This can't go on for, for, for long. Even though I know the Ukrainians can last for, forever and forever, they've got the heart and soul for it, but they don't deserve this. That's the most important thing. And the world sees that they don't deserve this, but I don't see that the world is helping as much as I would hope they would be. Anyway, look, I'm blabbering on way too much, as you know, that I can go on for ages for this. But let's go straight into uh, my next reaction, shall we? If you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you when my next uploads will be. Now, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music, as well as your support. Can you do? This is very short, only about two and a half minutes. Бугакова, Тавлатова и Солженицына Они все мыслят теперь одинаково А сегодня чувства и сожжены с лица Быкова, Далия, Миронова Аксенова нет и Высоцкого Их весь народ стал вдруг Милоновыми Им все равно лишь узы Плоцкого Лишь скрепы Путина, лишь мысли Геркина Как на Распутина, как под Копиркуна А я иду проспектом Пушкина а иду... По твой сирену, по Бердичу И посылаю ваши Пушкины Скорее бы сдохли, но Ничего личного, ничего личного, ничего личного. Будя сирены, ничего личного. его ракеты. Все как обычно, так все как обычно. Скорее ваш путь сдох, а так отлично все. Все как обычно, у нас все как обычно. Убили маму, погибли дети, но ничего личного, ничего личного. Суки, блядь, нахуй, ничего личного. Забудь Чербин, Чернигов и Киев. Ебучие нахуй, но кто вы такие? Кто вы теперь для меня? Русня, тряпки, говной, хуйня, русня, хуйня, флода, рапа, раша, раша и всех раш, ваша раша. И навсегда теперь она не наша, раша, не наша, а Крым, а Крым будет наш, наш Белгород, Курск, Брянск, Краснодар. Мы забираем все в энергодер. Пока не отстройте Харьков, времени Марик, мы будем вас, суки, ебать и кошмарить. Ебать и копать вашу Кузькину мать, ебать и закапывать вашего папу, блядь. Ничего личного, ничего личного, будя сирены, его ракеты, все как обычно, так все как обычно. Скорее ваш путь сдох, а так обычно все. Все как обычно, у нас все как обычно, убили маму. Погибли дети, но ничего личного, ничего личного Настанет время, за все ответите So that was positive with nothing personal I get it now It was a message to them, nothing personal but, you know It opens doors um, to, of thoughts For me, certainly because, as you know, Ukrainian, a proud country, proud, proud, proud people, very, very patriot. And there's this thing that I, you know, I finally have gotten over it through a number of education and amazing comments sent by yourself in regards to, you know, not Ukraine's second language is Russian, but the, it so happened to be that, you know, majority of people in Ukraine uh, or certainly uh, half of the people in Ukraine speaks Russian. Um, certainly as their first language. Um, and I just wanted to, f f you know, food for thought. With this trials and tribulation going over in Ukraine, is Ukraine united, including the uh, people who speak fluent in Russian that do not even know how to speak Ukrainian, but they did live there? How is that? Is it divided? Is it or is everybody singing to the same sheet because it's happening on their doorstep? Do you know what I mean? Or are you getting, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, do you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's divided because it's not divided. You can see through the music and everything else divided. But are there people in Ukraine who normally have a loud voice, no longer have a loud voice? 
no longer are being loud in their voice because of the certain circumstances. And the only reason why I'm saying that because I reacted to um, Yu um, Yu, Yu and you know she, she even though she is Ukrainian she um, I believe she doesn't speak Ukrainian she speaks Russian and I thought that was a problem um, but you know she, she's getting ahead of a lot of um, I've got ahead of a lot of um, comments from her um, f from sorry f from um, her fans and they've put me in a shade of light where no sh she's one of us do you know what I mean? And it's very, very hard for me to tell um, through um, without putting the sub without putting the subtitles on um, who is and who isn't. I mean, through my experience and reacting to a, a hell of a lot of Ukrainian artists, I know who is. Do you know what I mean? But there is certain artists that you know, just the one or two that when I've reacted to them, I have had um, been educated into knowing what their stance are. Uh, and it's kind of like, you know, like, for instance, I like Marv. And I haven't heard anything about Marv since this, um, since the, um, the breakout. There's quite a few other artists that I haven't heard of um, about um, through this breakout. Where if this wasn't, what if this fortunate events didn't happen, um, you would hear them. They'd be churning out music left, right and centre. So, uh, do you know what I mean? So, I just want to know, I, how many of uh, artists that are sitting on the fence, that do not want to come forward. I'm seeing a hell of a lot of artists coming forward, but I'm sure there is a number of artists that have yet to come forward, that are sitting on the fence, that are in the middle. And I just want to know about them artists. I want to identify these artists. I want to find who these artists are. I want to send these artists messages and go into their psyche and find out what the heck is going on with you. Do you know? Um, you're not blind. You can see what you can see. So what is it? You know, where is your patriotism? Where is your heart? Where's your empathy? There's a lot of people that are taking risk in making songs. Um, knowing that, you know, it could be their last, so to speak. But the perseverance, the anger that's boiling up in their stomach warrants them to do such a songs. But there's artists out there, established artists out there, that are not doing those kind of songs. You know? So I just want to establish them. Like, for instance, you hear a lot about Tina Carroll. And I used to hear a lot about Dan. Um, Dan, is it Dan Balan? Baland. I ain't heard nothing of him. Where is he? What's going on? Where does he sit? Are, is Tina Carroll and Dan Baland going to... Can they rebuild their relationship, so to speak? Because I just feel that even though I've reacted to quite a few Dan Balan's um, songs and he comes across as a humanitarian and um, he's been over to Africa. He's helped, you know, he, he's helped a number of um, projects and funding. But this one where it's time to stand out, I'm not hearing nothing about him. Not even a pipsqueak, not even a single, not even anything. I wonder if Tina Cowers had heard anything from her friend Dan Balland. But do you know what I mean? There's artists like that that was so right in the forefront of um, the, pop, the pop culture or the music culture that's coming from Ukraine. And now, I haven't heard of them. They're nowhere to be seen. So I want to call these guys out. I want to call these people out. So give me a list and I'll find them. <laughs> I will find them. Anyway, look, love this track. Um, I wasn't too sure about these subtitles. Um, it didn't kind of make sense to me, so I left it out. So I'm, I'm trusting you guys to send me the lyrical contents and send it over to myself, and I'll put it on my description page. But for now, I salute you. Boom! Кузькину мать, ебать и закапывать вашего папу, блять. Ничего личного, ничего личного. Будя сирены, его ракеты. Все как обычно, так все как обычно. Скорее ваш путь сдох, а так обычно все. Все как обычно, у нас все как обычно. Убили маму, погибли дети, но ничего личного, ничего личного. Настанет время, за все ответите.